Hello, STEM thinkers and doers. I'm Dorinda Reisenhuber, and I'm the Education Coordinator for the NASA Oklahoma Space Grant Consortium, and I'm here at the NASA OKSG STEM Engagement Center, and as you can see, on the moon, or so it looks, right? And I can see the Earth. And uh, today I'm here to introduce an activity that you are going to be conducting as part of your online summer camp, and it is called Earth, Earth's Moon, Mars Balloon. So you may be looking at these models up here that I have up here and thinking, man, that looks very odd because all three, these two planets and this moon are all the same size. Now, does that make any sense? No, it doesn't make any sense because they're not the same size in reality. So in reality, this moon is 6,783.5 miles in circumference. Now, what that means by circumference is the measurement around that moon. So, for example, yeah. So, on here, this only is 38 inches in circumference. But in reality, it is 6,783.5 miles. So, this is simply just a model that is more earth size or more human friendly for us to utilize. Um, and it is on a, a particular scale that allows us to see it that way. Now, this is our Earth. And our Earth is 24,901 miles in circumference in reality. Now, did you hear me see that? I just said the Earth was 24,901 and that the Moon was 6,783.5. So shouldn't the Moon be smaller? Why is that? And then if I think about it, Mars is 13,263 miles in circumference. So it should be smaller than the Earth and bigger than the Moon, right? But you know what this tells me? These models were not made on the same scale. These are not even comparable, are they? But you know what? You guys are so smart that you are now at home going to get to create a representation of those sizes of the Earth Mars and the moon, you're going to get to create that at home and you're going to get to use the same scale to get to see the relative size or their size in relationship to each other. Now there are some helpful hints when you do it. You're going to be given three balloons. Um, you're going to get a red balloon, a blue balloon, and a, a white balloon. And so the blue balloon is going to be for the earth. And this is where it's going to be very helpful for you to maybe call in some research assistance. And by research assistance, I mean anyone at your house that could aid or assist you. Maybe that's a brother or sister, a cousin, a mom, dad, grandparent, whoever it might be. You'll holler at them, have them come and help you and aid you with this. But remember, you are the PI or the principal investigator, which means you're in charge of this experiment. So they are simply there to help you. So make sure that you're the one leading it and doing the discovery and using them as your assistants to aid and assist you. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, I believe it's 63 centimeters that they want you to blow up this balloon, the circumference of the balloon. So what the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cloth measuring tape and you're going to have to find 63 centimeters. And let's see, that is right over here. So then I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm just going to create a circle and right there at that 63 centimeters. So that's exactly how big my circle needs to be. So I would have my research assistant, once I found that 63 centimeters, I am then going to hand it to them and have them hold it. And while they're holding it, I'm going to blow this balloon until the circumference of it or how far around it is, and it's going to blow out this um, measuring tape, I'm going to blow it up until it's 63 centimeters in circumference. And then I'm going to follow the directions for my other two balloons for Mars and the moon. And then I'm going to get a chance to try to see the relative distance based on the size of model I made as to how far the moon is from the Earth and the Earth is from the Mars. And I'm going to get to use my prediction skills to do that. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Now, but just to give you an idea, if we were actually looking at how far the moon is from the Earth, that is 238,855 miles, 
or 30 Earths in between the Earth and the Moon. That is huge. And then from the Moon to the Mars, it's even a bigger dif uh, distance, 35.8 million miles. So you're going to be creating a much smaller scale of the relative distances of each of these planets once you come up with their relative sizes on the scale that you are utilizing. Ah, you guys are such smart scientists and we can't wait to see what you discover here in a few minutes.